Most extended families seem to have at least one member that everyone knows is obsessed with their family history. Someone takes on the role of chronicler and holder of the family legends. These individuals can be found in libraries, archives, offices, attics or obscure local history centres searching for every small detail these resources might yield. They seem to have boxes and filing cabinets and an endless collection of old photographs, ancient letters, records, notebooks and other mementos. Since the advent of the digital age and the internet, the role of the family researcher has been completely transformed. The way they collect and store their data has also been transformed. The accessibility of information, records and other researchers with related knowledge online has accelerated the ability to expand a tree or verify information wherever it has come from in the world. Whole networks of people can exchange information instantly across the globe and the family history crazed aunt finds themselves a member of a vast and passionate community. Since they first began to make an appearance on the internet in the 1980s, genealogical websites and networks expanded rapidly. Their growth has been exponential. Many millions of people have shared their family information online on various platforms and literally billions of records are now accessible on the internet. I first used genealogical websites in the late 90s when I became hooked on family history. These websites continue to be dramatically enhanced and expanded. There are many genealogical websites that cover specific communities such as Jewish Gen or the many county, state, regional, name or clan sites that abound on the internet and have information richly important and relevant to their members. There are also websites that focus on specific subject matter such as shipping records or convict records or pioneer settlers of a certain colony. For this video though, I want to focus on those sites which are often the research and genealogical home base for curious and serious researchers alike. I have chosen to focus on the four that are currently enjoying the highest profile and the widest use. Ancestry, Family Search, My Heritage and Find My Past. I confess some bias as these are sites I have used the most. There are many, many genealogical websites and the list is still growing. Family Search was launched to the public online in 1999. It is not only one of the most extensive websites, it also can be accessed in many languages. But most significantly, Family Search makes its research free online. Of the large genealogical websites, this is unique. The site was set up by the Genealogical Society of Utah, GSU, which itself was founded in 1894 by the Church of Latter-day Saints. This is still the largest genealogical society in the world. This is the Salt Lake City Family History Library. It was established in 1894 and it is the largest dedicated family history library of its kind in the world. And it is connected to over 4,500 family history centres in 70 countries committed to collecting and recording every kind of record related to family history and therefore the history of mankind. These records can help people identify their ancestors wherever and whenever they were. In 1962, the GSU began to create a vast 2.4 million microfiche collection of records from all over the world. The records were copied and are stored in massive files which can be accessed at the Family History Library in Utah. Even today, 242 cameras and microfilming records in over 40 countries. 
In 1998, with the advent of digital imaging, the GSU began the process of digitising its vast collection of records from over 110 countries. It is expanding and digitising its record collection continually. In 2014, FamilySearch announced a partnership with other important genealogical websites to help expand its resources with links to Ancestry.com, Find My Past, My Heritage and Billion Graves. FamilySearch has been offering free access to these other sites at their family history centres for many years, but to expand it to online communities as well is quite new. However, the free versions of the paid websites are relatively limited but can give you a glimpse and preview of what resources are held on these sites for the paying customer. FamilySearch has an expanding wiki which I have found very useful when I'm stepping back from my ancestors and trying to understand a historical context or migratory phenomenon. These usually have links to other resources that can help to deepen understanding or connect directly to relevant record collections. The wikis are constantly being expanded. Ancestry.com is a privately held internet genealogy company based in Lehigh, Utah. It is the largest and probably best known genealogical website. It has raised its international and public profile through effective advertising and through popular TV programs such as Who Do You Think You Are, which have so effectively drawn people to begin to ask questions about their own heritage. Ancestry.com was founded in 1983 by Joe Sittner. They provide family tree building software, which is where I personally hold my various family trees, and I find it relatively easy to use. Through the hint icons of small leaves, I've often found important, relevant information about my ancestors and I have been able to identify other researchers fairly easily, tracing similar family lines. Ancestry also provides a vast range of support in the form of videos and encourages users to connect with each other through wikis, private messaging and message boards. Their app for phones and iOS devices is good too making your data portable, enabling you to access your tree and information wherever you are. If you can access the internet on your device, you can do research and expand your tree. I can also access my tree even without the internet. Information added on one device automatically updates onto all my devices. My Heritage was founded in 2003 in Tel Aviv, Israel by Gilad Jaffayat. Today it uses 42 languages and has over 80 million users worldwide and growing. Begun in a barn on a farm in Israel, the company has grown quickly since then acquiring many smaller family history organisations and in 2013 became part of the Family History Partnership. At that time, MyHeritage had 75 million registered users and 1.6 billion people's profiles. With such a wide community, it is clear that these resources are popular and meet the needs of many users. Find My Past is a UK-based genealogy website by British company DC Thompson that was founded in 2003. Today, it hosts billions of searchable records of census, directory and historical records. If you have ancestors from Britain, Scotland, Wales or Ireland, you'll find this site very useful. Find My Past has excellent digitised British and Irish historical newspapers. It also holds some US newspaper records, but there are other places where you might find more extensive resources for American newspapers. Find My Past has many other very valuable resources. Many of the records can be viewed in their digital form online. And for those that do not, there are often clear transcriptions of what the original record holds with information of where the original documents are held. Find My Past also integrates information regarding the types of records that they hold directly below the record itself. 
They explain the historical significance and context of the record type, which helps your understanding of the kinds of events affecting your ancestors' lives. Often you can trace their political, religious and social standing within their own communities. I find that these simple documents enrich my research. Choosing the website that suits you is a little bit like buying a car. Everyone has their own preferences and needs. Once you begin to use one, often that becomes your genealogical home base as you become comfortable and facile with the working of that program. I have my original home base in Ancestry as that was where I first started a tree. And over the years, the site has effectively expanded their resources so that I could never exhaust the information relating to my family and extended family trees. It's a good idea to use the other resources in support of this research. The biggest drawback with Ancestry is its subscription costs. However, you can upload a tree for free, and if you do subscribe and allow your subscription to run out, unless you delete your own trees, Ancestry maintains the tree whether you are paying membership or not. So you do not lose your information. And if your email address is current, you can still be reached by other members via email whether your subscription is current or not. I find that this gives me some flexibility. Ancestry is significantly larger than any other genealogical site, both in terms of membership and online record holdings. It is therefore a wonderful resource for reaching distant relatives all over the world who can help you solve family mysteries and learn about other branches of your family tree. With all of these sites, make sure that you check any information posted by others before accepting it with blind faith. As we have mentioned in other videos, the information is only as good as its verifiable accuracy. If you suddenly find yourself directly descended from famous people or even royalty by blindly accepting generations of enticing green leaves, it is a very good idea to go back through and systematically check your new data.